congratulations on winning the i league with uh, round glass punjab so uh, is the squad confident uh, as uh, you have got a very big tournament uh, super cup coming up where you will be facing kerala blasters and uh, bangalore fc in your first two match of course uh, it full us confidence the fact that we uh, are the champions of the i league of this season it full us confidence good psychology and uh, we are looking forward to measure our power against the teams of our ISL we are going to play at, against the two big teams Kerala Blasters and Bengaluru and uh, <clears throat> we have to see how far of, or how near we are like the levels so uh, how would you describe your i league season as a whole it was a very interesting uh, season i think that it was two steps in front for the indian football yeah uh, the games uh, were very competitive the most of the games i think 80% was in one goal difference yeah yeah that means that the teams had not great difference between of them and uh, it was full of interest and i think that it was a good season to bring people more people in the stadiums yeah uh, so next season you would be uh, in the isl so how would you approach that and uh, how important of a role will the super cup uh, play uh, in your preparation towards the isl next season as i told before the games of super cup will show us how long distance we have to cover but uh, i think that uh, the distance is not too far too big um for sure we have to fix the roster for the next season we have to keep many players of the roster that we yeah. play now and to make additions with quality to put us one level more up sir like you also have experiences from greece and cyprus so what is the difference between the football in greece and cyprus and that of india Uh, i believe that uh, in india um there is a little more delay in the ma- decision making of the players yeah. if they fix this i think that there will be a very good level the indian players in greece especially is more tactic the game the game stops a lot of times the yeah. referees whistle every contact uh, there are a lot of set pieces there are a lot of uh, situations in the game uh, uh, full in power in fight between the players here the game was unstoppable it had a rhythm and uh, the referees help this don't whistle every time and uh, we had a lot of transitions both of many many situations in both of the areas i like this uh sir uh, punjab had uh, already won the i league a few seasons back and again uh, uh, round glass punjab won the i league so how supportive was the board uh, in your decision making how supportive was the board Uh, how supportive was the board uh, and how did they acknowledge your decisions uh, when you were, which you made uh, once the season started uh, you want to say how i took the decision to come no how supportive was the b- board means how big of a role did the board play when uh, in uh, the success of round glass punjab this season i think that the project of round glass punjab made me a gave me the ambition to come and help this project uh, when the technical directors met me in greece the previous summer and uh, he analyzed me the whole project i think that uh, i was curious and uh, i liked a lot to come and take part 
in this in this process of one club who wants to be bigger and bigger. I wanted to be part of this uh, development. Yeah. So, sir, uh, a notable signing of your squad was Juan Mera. So, how big of a role did he play in your team? Like, he had previous I-League experiences with Neroca and East Bengal as well. Of course, it helps the players who are not coming for first season. Uh, he was adapted like every player who plays second or third season in I-League. Uh, this fact helped a lot. Uh, I believe that Juan Mera had some difficulties until Christmas. But after uh, he could show, he prepared better. He realized that he had to give more and uh, he worked a lot. And uh, after Christmas, he showed his real capacities. Uh, so, so the, uh, uh, this is the first time a team uh, winning the I-League is getting promoted to the ISL. So do you think that uh, this kind of a format will help the Indian football to develop further? Of course, of course. I think that the Indian football generally is in one phase of development. But the promotion uh, gives a lot of target objective to the clubs, uh, give uh, the presidents the dream, the ambition to go to the biggest uh, division and uh, and um, it makes it more competitive, the championship. Yeah. There is one target. I go up. It's not like uh, the previous seasons. You were just playing to play. So, like, uh, do you think a long footballing session would uh, help Round Plus Punjab to develop further? Can you repeat? Uh, the footballing season in India, like after the ISL, there were not many games earlier. But this season, there is a Super Cup as well as the Durant Cup there. And a lot of friendlies are also arranged. So, uh, do you think it will help uh, Round Glass Punjab develop further uh, before the ISL starts? Yes. Uh, to be honest, I think that the, champion, the championship should be more extended. Yeah. So short. Uh, we started 12 of November, we finished 12 of March. Okay. I believe that uh, we should start one month before and finish one month after. Yeah. This, this is why uh, it gives between the games more time to the coaches and to the players to prepare for the next game. We played many games having two or the maximum three days between of the games. It's not good for the players. And, uh, and it put the level of the same championship more down. Yeah. So, so like, uh, another signing of your squad was Luka Marcin. Yes. He had a GA of uh, 19 this season, which is, like, wonderful. So, many ISL club would be looking after him, like, might try to sign him. Are you confident on keeping him with your squad? Yes, look how much. And uh, to be honest, the previous summer, I remember, I was looking one game for for another player. Yeah. Don't remember for whom. And I saw this striker inside the field. I liked a lot. And I was looking the game for another player. And uh, I said to them, uh, to our administration, Go and make uh, one offer to this player. Maybe he will come. Who knows? I like him a lot. And uh, they had one conversation. He accepted. And like this, he came to our club. Yes, he was a great help for our team. Uh, one striker who has easy the goal, aggressive, press the opponent defense, player of the team. Uh, he helped us a lot, and uh, he deserved the award of the best player, I think. Uh, yes, we want to keep him in our squad for the next year. Uh, so, sir, this season was like a 
complete domination for round glass punjab in uh, 22 games round glass punjab scored 45 goals and uh, uh, 116 while just lost two games so what were the changes that you made once you arrived to the club what changes i made when i came yeah like l- last season was not such a, uh, such a good season for punjab but this season yes uh, the first thing you have to do when you take over one club at the summer period is to fix the roster yeah you look the previous uh, year games uh, to have one good opinion about the players we decided that we'll keep these players we need in that positions these players we had a very good communication me and the technical director and uh, and after the selection of the roster the squad is the press preparation i believe that we did a very good preparation a very good precision and uh, this combination the roster and the precision uh, helped us a lot we did a very good beginning in the championship yeah with games in our home and uh, i believe after christmas especially after our second defeat against trinity we had 11 unbeaten games yeah, it yeah. gave us a lot of motivation a lot of push for the photo finish uh, so was there any particular things you changed after that 4-0 loss to trinity no 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 we managed the the losing game with maturity with calm with uh, um, with a point of view what we have to improve we have to do it now and that's that worked a lot i think and the team generally had very good reaction in her bad moments we lost against trau and we went and we, and we went inside kashmir and we won kashmir who was unbeaten until that moment and first in the table we lost against uh, rindi and after we had a great series of positive results so like another notable transfer during the winter window was chemcho so chemcho was has been a very important player so how would you define his role in the team yes to be honest in the first round we had only luka match and one player near to goal we had not many goals from other teammates and we should uh, add one player in our attack to help in the scoring um chenzo was a player who knows india football not need time for adaptation good player he, he knew the club because he had played in the past and uh, every year he had good seasons with a lot of goals making that's why we took the decision to bring him here and uh, he he noted some very important goals uh so the east bengal was the last club promoted from uh, the i league to the isl uh, they haven't had much success mainly due to the re- recruitment being late so uh, would the recruitment for round glass punjab start uh, after the super cup immediately after the super cup ends after the super cup we have to speak we have to do agreements with the player first you look the players that you have mm-hmm. First, you talk with them. Yeah, yeah. See you, which players will be the next season, which players will leave. So to see which three positions you have to cover, and uh, after you look to take players for your necessities. The Indian market is our basic market because it's yeah. the uh, majority of the players who play in the squad. and we have to be very careful in our selections in the foreigner players because the positions are not enough are not many so after this season with the round glass punjab uh, according to you who has been the most promising indian player in i league 
Uh, I cannot say only one. I saw many young players, and yeah. uh, no, no, I like it very much. I enjoyed looking. If you ask me, for example, in every club, in every club that we played, in every team, in every opponent team that we played, I can say one, two, or three young boys who played well. Yeah, and maybe some clubs more than two, three boys. This means that the Indian football has future. In our team also, we have young players, very good, with a lot of quality. Some of them played, played a lot. Some of them did not play a lot because of the necessities to the team to go to the first position, because some players play were playing well and I could not change them. But there are a lot of Indian young players, uh, for example, Mizoram is mm -hmm. one region who products players. Yeah. Uh, in fact, no, Manipur. Mani. A lot of players in, in many teams. We have also from these regions players. Uh, I think that there are some regions where the boys maybe play football from the moment that they are born. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, so, sir, as you said, uh, mo most of the Northeast states have uh, tremendous like talents coming up. So, is it necessary for the Indian football to scout players in that Northeast region of India? Of course, of course. And uh, as I have seen the months that I am here in Punjab, in our region there is talent. In our academy, there are very good young players that will occupy us in the next years. Yeah. And uh, our academy is doing excellent work. And uh, we'll see these results in the next years. I'm sure for this. Sir, uh, as one of the best players of this season was your goalkeeper, Chem Chong. He have kept a total of 11 clean sheets. So uh, how was how important was his role like as the show, uh, as a stopper? Yes, it is very important. Uh, for the 11 clean sheets, okay, it's collective work. Yeah. It's not only for the goalkeeper. Just it's, it is one of the criteria to select, to vote one goalkeeper. Yes, correct. But it was collective work. Uh, I think that Kira Libu helped us in many moments, crucial moments in some games with excellent saves. Uh, or with some boxes in last minutes, uh, the, the set pieces from the opponents. Uh, that's why he came in our team. We believe to this player, uh, his talent. We knew him from the past that he had played in our club again, similar like change of his case. And, uh, and uh, the reality, of the games showed that what we have seen the previous summer was correct. Uh, so the ISL season also ended on 18th March. Uh, so what was your thoughts on the current ISL season? Tell me again, please. Uh, the ISL season also ended on 18th March. So what was your thoughts on the current ISL season? I don't have any specific thought about uh, ISL. Uh, the first one is to fix the squad. To have one squad competitive. I will try to keep as much as is possible players from our squad now because one team is built by keeping many players and add necessities, not go 20 players, bring 20 new or 15 players every summer. No, I don't like it. I prefer to make a few transfers, but the transfers who will put us one level up. This is my priority this moment. I don't think about ISL. I don't make one specific thought. Of course, I like that we'll go to the biggest division of our of India, uh, better football, better stadiums, more fans, everything is better. I like, 
But my thoughts is how I will fix the squad for the next year. You know? Sir, uh, how important was Ignatovic as a captain of the whole squad? Very important. Very important inside and outside the field. Alex Ignatovic was the leader of the team, the captain, the man who gave his advices um, to the others because he has a lot of experience from the football, uh, European football that he has played many years. He helped a lot the team, uh, not only as central defender, as captain in the difficult moments. He was the man who pushed everybody, uh, give motivation. Generally, he was one positive presence in our dressing room. Uh, so, sir, let's now shift the focus to the Indian football a bit. Uh, so, India recently won against uh, in the Tri Nation Cup. And uh, what do you feel about the current uh, Indian team and how, how do you feel that they can improve in the future? The national team? Yeah, yeah. yeah. To be honest, I have not seen game of the national team. I had not the opportunity to see it because of my work. But I believe that if the national team do a success, it will be the small light who bring the fire, yeah. the explosion for Indian, the explosion for all Indian football. I believe that. It's a matter of time. I believe that the national team will do something. For example, go to Mundial World Cup. If yeah. he succeeds this, all the Indian football will go up. I believe that. Sir, uh, it's uh, my one of my like, favorite questions, which I ask many managers. Who is your favorite manager and why? Like in world football. I like the Arsene Wenger yeah, because Arsene. he knows to improve the player and to improve the team. Uh, he, he, he was one uh, coach who, who don't buy ready players to play. He, he product players. He teach football. Uh, I think that this yeah. I like a lot. Uh, so, sir, uh, the the most of the uh, Round Glass Punjab fans uh, actually had a very good celebration at the end of this uh, season. So, how important were the fans uh, to the team's success? Very important. Very important, especially in the moments of the games that the things are not going well. This is what you need at that moment, what the players need. Uh, and our fans, I remember sometimes, during the games, especially in the last minutes, uh, when the things are not going well, or when you, you have a good result for you, but you have to keep it, and yeah. you have tiredness, you have pressure of opponent, and the fans keep you alive in the field. This is this interaction between fans and players is something magic in the football, and I, I like a lot when it happens. Uh, so, sir, we have got a few uh, rapid-fire questions for you, uh, so please answer them. Uh, the first is Messi or Ronaldo? I will tell Messi. I like both. Ronaldo is, is a good example for the young boys that work can improve you. Working. He is working a lot. He is working a lot and he is positive always to participate in scientific uh, experiments yeah. about football. He's great, but I believe that Messi is something extraordinary. So, uh, two youngsters right now, Pedri or Musiala? Hmm, good question, Pedri. Uh, so, so, Real Madrid or Barcelona? <laughs> Now you're gonna put me fight with my sons. <laughs> my my older son is Real. 
My yeah. second son is Barcelona. <laughs> and when we play playing Southern, you cannot imagine what happened in the home. But no, I, I have no preference. But if you had to choose one, then who would it be? Who like, deserves to win? Let's win. Okay, I'll say, I'll say Barcelona. Uh, now, as a derby of England, and like London a London. Derby, Arsenal or Chelsea? Chelsea. Uh, Pep Guardiola or Alex Ferguson? Guardiola. Uh, win a match by 4-3 or win a match by 1-0? 4-3. Uh, as a coach, uh, winning uh, what is more important, the UCL or the World Cup? Tell me again. Uh, as a coach, what would you like to win, the UCL or the World Cup? World Cup. Play three at the back or play four at the back? Yeah. This depends. The players that you have, you cannot answer this. Um, I have played with four and with three. For example, one season I was playing in my team with four. And uh, the same season, I changed club. And the necessity, how was the roster? I forced to play with three. Uh, so Mbappe or Holland? I like both of them. I like both of them, but if I had, have to say one of them, I'll say Holland. And but with little, little, little. Yeah. <laughs> and in Indian football, the which is like arguably one of the biggest derby, Mohan Bagan or East Bengal? This is the biggest derby. Yeah, it's the biggest derby. In, in, in India. India, it's like a hundred year old derby. Yes. It, yeah, it's in Kolkata. I was thinking that Mumbai City, Bengal or some of the... No, like it has a, like a geographical uh, like thing. So when India was partitioned, it was partitioned into two parts, like India and Bangladesh. So the people who came from Bangladesh to India are like supporters of East Bengal. They are known as Bangal. And like the people who are residing in India, they are known as Ghoti and they are supporters of Mohun Bagan. So it's like a geographical derby as well. I did not know that. It's yeah, it's Asia's factor. oldest derby. But I cannot say that I support one of them because... Until now, I had no relation with these clubs. Yes. Uh, I cannot... Answer another question as a coach, like which do you think is uh, more like fruitful, uh, Tiki Taka or Jagan Press? The second. Uh, so, sir, the last question that we have for you is what, what would be your dream footballing 11? My dream for? Dream 11. Like in football, players. yes, all time. I don't have one specific dream. I cannot say, for example, my dream. Okay, I could say that I would have a dream to train one national team in final phase of World Cup. No, so the actually the thing was that uh, like who would be your dream uh, footballers like goalkeeper, defenders, midfielders, and strikers? Ah, uh, uh, you answer. Uh, I understand something else. Oh uh, yes, no. So like, uh, who is the like a favorite goalkeeper of all time? Like favorite the- goalkeeper of all time. Um, Neuer. Uh, center back. Center backs, like two center, two backs. center backs. I will say Van Dyke, that I like now a lot. Yeah. And one older, if I have Franco Baresi, the Italian. Yeah. Uh, your right back? Cafu. Uh, the left back? Roberto Carlos. And three midfielders. Three midfielders. 
Defensive midfielder. I like Vieira. I don't know if yeah. you know this player. Yeah, yeah, yeah the Arsenal Patrick Vieira. Like number eight, inter internal midfielder. I will say De Bruyne. And number ten, I like the lot Roberto Baggio. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, the right winger. Right winger, maybe I'll say Messi with left leg who come inside and all of this. Your left, left wing? Left, I'll say Mbappé because I like him on the left side, how he's running, how he's making the penetrations. And uh, in front, young boy, I liked when I was young boy, I liked a lot of uh, Marco van Basten. Yeah. Later, I like Drogba. Drogba. So, um, my, fr good, um, my friend here is like, like a Chelsea Ronaldo fan. Ronaldo Phenomenal. Ronaldo Phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. Like, he's a Chelsea fan and he would be like really happy to see Drogba on the lineup. Huh? Okay. <laughs> uh, like so, so, sir, last question is that uh, who do you think is the best national team at this moment? It could be Argentina because she took the World Cup, but I believe that France has better team with yeah. balance in all the lines, better players in high level players. France this moment. Uh, so, sir, thanks for your time. And uh, once again, congratulations on winning the I League. Thank you. Thank you very much. And thank you, we wish you the best of the luck in uh, ISL and the Super Cup as well. And so, thank you, sir. Thanks a Hope lot. We meet again. Thanks a lot, boys. Thank you, sir.